Morning everybody, Rick here. I'm in Galena, Kansas, standing outside of an old gas station that's been converted with the owner right here. And I'm gonna have him say a few words about it this morning. We're getting ready to unveil Doc from the animated movie Cars. Really super cool. So, without further ado, I'm gonna flip the camera around and we're gonna find out some more information. Hi, I'm Aaron. This is Gearhead Curios at a 1939 Texaco gas station. It's my Route 66 dream. Um, today we're going to present Doc to everybody. Uh, we're going to kind of show people what we've got done so far in our renovation and what our goals and dreams are. And if you get a chance to come down here, come see us. If we're here, we'd like to sit there and meet you. If not, two years and nine months, we'll be open full time and we'll be greeting you every day. All right. Well, thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, this green stripe down here, just painted that a couple of weeks ago. And I follow him on Facebook. Aaron Perry is his name here in Galena, Kansas. He just put a new door on. It still needs a little bit of work. But we're going to go inside and take a look around. Can you walk up here and take the up where the water is? While it's hot. Because it's not pressurized. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, because you try that with a monitor, you shake that thing up the top. Yeah, because it's pressurized, but you raise the pressure, you raise the It's a beautiful, beautiful Saturday morning. It's going to be really nice. The unveiling is going to happen in, oh, about 50 minutes or so. And they've got a little stand set up here where you can buy t-shirts or you can buy the Route 66 sodas. But we got something over here to show you. This American flag made with license plates. And of course they're all here in Kansas. I do believe. And there they are. And then they've got lights up here. They've got motorcycle helmets over the lights. And a lot of these are from our neck of the woods back home. They're Sedgwick County. Kelly County, they're just from all over the state. But that's just really cool. And again, this is called Gearhead Curios out of Galena, Kansas on Route 66. If any of you are in this neck of the woods, it's very definitely worth the trip. This is very cool. A lot of cool things here in the Baxter Springs, Galena area. It's a scenic drive too. It's kind of got that Flint Hills or Ozark feel to it. It was very pretty this morning. The sun was just coming up and we had fog. Oh, it was just beautiful this morning on the way here. And they've got these murals painted, Pepsi and all that painted everywhere. We're going to go over here and show you. Here's Doc, but of course it's all covered up right now. The unveiling will be here in about an hour, as I previously stated. We'll go down here and show you a couple of old cars down here. Of course, the red one's an old T-Bird. And then this one here is a Plymouth, an older Plymouth from Salina, S.N. Saline County. 
Um, very nice. This is actually a Valiant, a Plymouth Valiant. I'll just kind of swing around here. And then of course is a Thunderbird. We'll kind of walk around here. Had a gentleman tell me the Galena is built little, literally on top of old mines. Matter of fact, show me where I could go to a location where there's like a pool of water just like two blocks down from here and that's actually an old mine. Here's the vanity plate on the front of this. The blue swallow New Mexico Anyway, that's a, just pretty cool. Um, at any rate, yeah, okay. All right, well, I just wanted to do a, a brief intro, you know, of uh, the Curios shop here. And I think we're going to uh, just kind of hang around here. It shouldn't be too much longer. So, Just hang on a minute, we'll be back. So we will see you here in just, in just a little bit. All right. All right, we'll see you all here in just a little bit. Okay, we've got about five minutes for the unveiling of Doc. We got one of the new local news cameras here this morning. It's uh, actually KSN channel 12. I'm not sure where that's out of, but one of the news, one of the news people are here this morning. Shouldn't be too much longer. And this, like I said, this is the Doc from the animated cartoon Cars. This is Doc, if you're familiar with that. But anyway, it's going to get started here just really quick. Behind us is Doc. Uh, found him at a police auction in Topeka, Kansas, uh, 1951 Hudson. And due to help of my family and friends, you're going to see here shortly that he looks like Doc from the movie Cars. And then we have, we're going to have all kinds of creative gearhead type things inside. And if you were to look in there right now, I have almost 140 license plates that people have signed and sent to me to be part of Route 66. So I know, you know, Route 66 is a big part of Covina and its history. What kind of sparked your interest in that? I'm a road tripper fool. I mean, my dad, who's over there, I blame him 
for uh, planting the seeds because we used to live in California and we would take and drive from California to Pennsylvania when I was a little one. And I just love road trips as a result. So do you think that, you know, the location of the sound and everything made it like a good place to set up and do something like this? What's neat is we have 13.2 miles. So we have less miles than anybody else, but we can really puff our chest up and count that 13 miles. I've told people that attractions per mile, no one can touch Kansas. Of course, you leave out the fact that if we have 13 attractions, that's one per mile. But, you know, we're, we're still stretching the truth a little bit. But if you look at the full 13.2 miles, I think Kansas is really rallying around the roots. Yeah, and then one last question for you. I know that this is going to be some kind of like an homage to the movie Mars. Um, why is that special to you? It, it's a, a road tripping movie. It's Route 66. At, I'm from Mojave, California originally, the, the, the desert out there, and a lot of the movie parks is in the southwest. So it was just a great movie that my daughter and I saw when she was a little kid. So the opportunity that I had to have Doc and it be part of what Galena has with the other cars in the route. Is there anything that I didn't ask you that you would like to talk about or touch on? Follow us on Facebook. Send us a tag if you want to be part of us. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're going to give it a couple more minutes. If you've not looked inside there, we've got binders showing dock being redone. We've got a binder showing our tag flag on the other side, and we got some binders showing what this looked like when we got it and what we've done to it so far. So if you haven't, check those things out too. We'll do this here in just a second. Right. Anybody that will invest anything in the town, whether that's your kids in the school, uh, new housing, business, anything else. And Aaron and his family, um, for several years now, have started to truly invest. They just love the town, and we love people like that. You don't have to be from here. To learn to love this town. So um, overall, we just love that the investment they made. We feel like they are family now, Aaron and his family, and um, we just thank you for all that you've done and continue to do for Galena. There's more to come. Uh, my kids won't be able to go to college because every bit of our money is going right here. So, um, we've been welcomed. We love it here. We love Route 66. And like I said, keep watching. We're going to have neon. We're going to have pumps. We're going to have a pink bathroom because my wife won't let me have one at our house. <laughs> Although we just put an offer in a house that has a So we're about to meet Doc, as we're calling him, but I want to give some thanks to some people first. Uh, Galena for welcoming us. You know, we're strangers and can't much stranger than coming from California to Kansas. You can't leave down to our little bit of 66. But Michael Elizabeth McGinnis, this is my daughter, Elizabeth. Mike did the paint job on Doc, and Elizabeth let me trade another vehicle to add to their collection in their yard. So thank you, Elizabeth, for letting him do that, and thank you, Michael, for doing that. And also, young Michael right there, who did a lot of help gutting this and the rotted stuff. John Grice, who's done a lot of help for that. Both my parents, who mom thought I was crazy for buying this when it had natural lighting, and now she's starting to see the dream that I have in it. Um, Mike Molinax, who's done down here in support. He's here somewhere with his motorcycle. There he is over there. But all my family and friends have been so supportive coming down. It's about a three hour drive for me and them, if not farther for Mike. So thank you for that. And then my daughters, Bentley, who's right here, painted the eyes on Doc. And if you've ever painted something, you're standing in front of it and you paint it. Well, she was painting it from the inside. So she had to do the layers and stuff backwards in order to make it look correctly. So I don't know how she did that, 
And then Jaxie's my little businesswoman that's selling the sodas over there. And then, of course, Mr. Kelly, who's let me spend all of our money and eat ramen noodles with me so we can put all the money down here. So, <laughs> that being said, I suppose if we could get a couple of my friends to come up and uh, pull for me, Mom. We'll pull Doc down here. Just hide in the back. Shall we pull, pull it back that way? I don't know. Yep. Yeah. All right, so here's Doc. <laughs> <laughs> Both of you go up there and go take I'm going to zoom in a little bit on it. That's all I want. All right, well, thank you for joining me this morning for the unveiling of Doc here in Galena, Kansas. And as always, I thank you for your support and for my subscribers. And as always, I will see you on the next video. So, bye for now.